Welcome to another RSR. Tonight I'm reviewing Gloob Leon 3, Gloob America 2, or 2, Tres a 2, and Liga MX Apertura 2022, Hornada 6, Gloob Leon winning in the last minute, last kick of the game. Tres a 2, 3 to 2. Big win from Leon. I wouldn't say comeback, but punch for punch, and they got the last punch. 32nd minute, Victor Davia runs into the attacking area. Runs parallel to the box. Nutmegs the defender and rolls it into the near post to make it 1-0. Uno a cero in the 32nd minute. Ochoa does nothing about it. He just stands there. I guess it's because of the nutmeg. But it's 1-0 Leon. Then in the 45th plus 6 minute, Henry Martin scores... A goal to make it 1-1. Uno, uno. Easy as you like. Henry Martin having a good run and having a very, very good season so far. 1-1 one, one at the half. Uno, uno. Ah, miedo. Tiempo. 66th minute. Osvaldo Rodriguez scores the goal. A great goal from Osvaldo Rodriguez. 2-1, to one, dos a uno, Leon back in the lead. Henry Martin scores in the 80th minute, taps it in. And should have been called a foul because of Cabecita running into a defender, I would say, maybe. But in the end, in the 80th minute, it's dos a dos, 2-2. Two two. It's a tie again. But in the 90 plus 15th minute, Leon's down a man. But they hold on for 15 more minutes in stoppage time. And they get a penalty. Handball by America defender as well as a foul in the offensive run. And they give a penalty on VAR. And it is for Club Leon. Angel Mena steps up to take it, as he should. The legend for Club Leon to face the legend of America, Guillermo Ochoa. Angel Mena puts it top bins. Ochoa can't touch it to end the game on the last kick of the game. 3-2, to two, tres a dos. Leon scores the penalty. 3-2, to tres a dos. They get the three points. They end it. And they get, instead of one point, they get the rest, the other two. And that's what they got to do. Stats are as follows. 12 shots to 11. 6 shots on goal to 3. 44% possession to 56% possession. 284 passes to 370 passes. 74% pass accuracy to 81% pass accuracy. 13 fouls to 11. 2 offside to 4. 2 yellow cards to 3. 1 red card to 0. And 5 corners to 4. For me, the first half of the game, around the first 20 minutes, I would say... It was punch for punch, blow for blow. Team takes an attack, it goes the other way. And there was really no, there were no goals scored. Then, around the 25th minute to the 30th, 35th minute, Leon dominated the match, scored a goal there. Then the rest of the first half, America dominated. And they got a goal there. Then the second half starts, and it's the same way as the first half. You have punch for punch, blow for blow. Very... Boring match, and then the goals start pouring in. America, Leon gets a shot. America gets a shot. Leon dominates. America dominates. Then at the end, the penalty is given. I would say America was actually on the way forward there. They were in the better situation there, of course, because they had the upper hand up a man. And you give a penalty, and Angel Mena takes it and slots it. Leon, did they deserve to get the three points in this situation? I wouldn't say so. But, in the end, what can you say besides, there you are. That's football. They took their chance, they handled it, and there you go. Three points for Leon. America, honestly, so through the match, were the better team. They were the better team, slightly. Leon... It's good that they ended up winning for their sake, but I have to say, you look at the situation and it's like, nah, but America, they deserve to win more than Leon did. But in the end, 
the football god said, nah, you ain't even getting a point. You're losing. That's got to hurt the way it went. Yes, it was obvious. There was actual foul, obvious foul, and the handball. It was double jeopardy either way. It was a pen either way. There was no way that wasn't getting given, especially when they went to VAR, because that's how Leah Emeki's works. You go to VAR, somebody's getting a red card, somebody's getting called for a penalty. They never overturn anything. It's always giving something or confirming what was given. They never take it away. But um, but Leon weren't the better team tonight. They had their moments, but they weren't the better team tonight. America was slightly better. Now, if they had a damn striker better than Cabecita, they would have... They probably would have won. Because here's the thing. Cabecita Rodriguez uh, is washed. He's washed. And everybody who was paying attention to his career in Saudi Arabia knew he's washed. Why? Because time comes for us all. Father time comes for us all. And it came for Cabecita while he was in Saudi Arabia. He comes back to League MX. He's thinking he's going to dominate the league exactly like he did in Cruz Azul. Not to be. You ain't going to the World Cup, Cabecita. Unless your form absolutely takes a rocket ship to Mars in the next two months. It's not. You're washed. You're finished. And I don't think it's because he went to Saudi. That doesn't help. But Saudi is Saudi. If he was as good as he is when he was at Cruz Azul, I wouldn't say right now, but at Cruz Azul, he would have dominated Saudi Arabia to the likes we've never before seen. He was... He was losing it in Saudi. He was declining immensely. He's finished. That was a horrible signing by America. They thought they did something. They didn't. And now they care more about their friendlies than they do their league matches. You know what that's going to get you? That's going to dig you a hole. Hey, as long, but hey, as long as you get the repashahe, right? 12th place, it doesn't matter, doesn't it? I mean, you already kind of got hot last, last season when you had Thano in. Oh, but this isn't the new manager bounce. He's just your manager. I think Thano Roberto Di Matteo'd himself. Seriously. I think this man is out of his depth. This man looked great against City. Looks great against Chelsea. Looks great against the European powers. Doesn't matter when you can't win Jack shit. Four points after five in Liga Emekis. Less than a point per game. Nah, man. Nah. Care more about your league matches than you do your friendlies. Or is it the pride of playing for Mexico and you don't have that here? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Because I'm not completely sure, but you are definitely pissing away the season so far. Not even in the repachaje right now. Not even. America, sh set up or ship out. 15th. 15th. You ain't doing great. At least you're not behind Mazatlan Plastic FC. Atlas is right behind America. Liga Mekis does get weird. It's a very quick sprint to the Ligia, but you have 12 spots. Maybe you'll get there. That's all you want, I guess. But you finished fourth last year on your run. On the new manager bounce and the semifinals. Shouldn't that be the low bar instead of what you get to? Am I crazy? Or am I just making sense? Because you would think that if you're playing... You play at a level of getting to a fourth place and a semifinal from a new manager bounce. You think you could build on that, but they haven't. Maybe they think they could do it again. I'd like to see. With that being said, y'all got to do better, America. Dominate the match and you still lose to Leon. Couldn't even pick up a point. Care more about your league matches. That's my advice.
With well, that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe, you know what it is, tell your friends, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification once you subscribe, send super chats on the live streams, comment on this video, put this in playlist, share it with friends and family, all that great stuff. I will see you on Tuesday for a live watch along and review of Pacific FC versus Waterhouse FC in the second leg of the Scotiabank CONCACAF League preliminary round. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Have a great Monday. I'll see you then. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace.